Hello everybody. I am going to begin demonstrating the individual projects of Snap Circuits Alternative Energy or Snap Circuits Green. I am going to go into detail about the individual parts as I use them in my projects. Now as how I listed in the description of that video you do not need any external batteries for this kit. You have the rechargeable battery, which is the B4 component included in this project. And you also have the solar cell, which will be used very soon. But this project talks about charging the rechargeable battery, and it is rated at 3.6 volts. Now you'll see that we have two LEDs in this circuit. The red one is on at full brightness, indicating that the battery has a decent amount of power. The yellow LED will come on whenever I charge the battery, and in this circuit, you will charge it by turning a crank. Now, it's a little bit tricky doing it one-handed because I'm holding my camera, but if I place my elbow on the circuit and I turn the crank fast enough, the yellow LED will glow brightly, and that indicates that the battery is being charged. Now, even though the battery has a 3.6 volt rating, the power meter, which is set at 5 volts on the 5 volt setting, the battery might be as high, charged as high as 4 volts. Just because the meter may read 3.6 volts does not mean that the battery is fully charged. It could, it will remain like this for, it will remain at 3.6 for a while and then all of a sudden it will suddenly drop to zero. This is the same case when charging. If you charge it, the meter will probably quickly reach 3.6 volts, but it will need a lot more in order to be fully charged. And I recommend that you do that because you don't want the battery to suddenly die when you're using your projects. Make sure you turn the crank clockwise. And this is a good circuit to charge it, but project three will show you how to, a few other ways to charge the battery. Hand cranking. We will build this circuit which includes the hand crank, yellow LED, horn, and motor, which has the wind fan mounted on. We will turn the crank clockwise, and now be aware that there might this might be a little bit loud because there is a horn in this circuit. I am going to turn the crank right now. As soon as I turn the crank, the horn sounds and the fan on the motor spins. Now, if I turn the crank super fast, the yellow LED flickers and the horn gets louder while the fan spins faster. Now you'll know that there's no battery in this circuit. The kinetic energy the mechanical energy that I am producing from turning the crank is the battery. Mechanical energy is one of the forms of energy that we will learn about in this, through the projects in this kit. Now be careful when turning the crank because even though it's sturdy, it can still break if you turn it too fast or push too hard on it. The hand crank is also using magnetism. And that's how the uh, mechanical energy produced from spinning the crank is converted into electricity. Best charging circuits. This project requires you, allows you to build one of three circuits that you can use to charge the rechargeable battery in this kit. Right now I am building the most advanced one in which the pivot stand is used to mount the solar cell enabling it to be used to charge the battery and it can be adjusted 
so that it is at the appropriate angle and receives the maximum amount of light to charge the battery. I am going to show you how you can assemble the pivot stand. First we mount the ball onto the pivot post and place it onto the base. And then we will mount the solar cell, in this case, onto the pivot stand like that. And now you can adjust it. You can tilt it backward or forward or le swivel it left or right. And then we will hook up the black jumper wire to the negative terminal on the solar cell and the red jumper wire on the positive terminal. Now the meter is very low, but let's see if this desk lamp will do the trick. I'm going to hold it about a foot away and it looks like the meter does increase. So that means that the solar cell is converting sun uh, light into electricity. You can use sun, natural sunlight, but you can also use a light bulb that is at least 60 watts. And make sure that the circuit is about a foot away from the light source. Now, if I take the circuit away from the light, the voltage meter drops because it is not the cell, solar cell is not receiving enough light. The second circuit allows you to adjust the solar cell, but you do not have the voltage meter to let you know whether you have enough sunlight on the solar panel. So I personally recommend building the first circuit that even though it may take a little bit more time to construct, you'll have the meter that can measure how much current the solar cells receiving to charge the battery. The third circuit uses the least parts. We just use the battery, the solar cell, and the two jumper wires, which are red and black, to charge B4. And this circuit is easy to carry around. We do not need the base grid for it. And you can build many other projects with the other parts while you're charging the battery. Now it's recommended that you recharge the battery for several hours to ensure that it is fully charged because like what I said with the first circuit, the voltage meter might give a false idea of how much the battery is really charged. So you should keep it exposed to light for several hours before using. Project four, solar power. Using this circuit, which has the solar cell mounted on its pivot stand, we will hold down the press switch and nothing happens. The yellow LED does not come on and the voltage meter reads zero. Now I'm going to hold the circuit about a foot or a little bit more from this lamp and watch the voltage meter. As more light gets on the solar cell, the meter increases beyond four volts. That shows that the solar cell is absorbing light from the lamp and now the circuit should work. I'm just gonna adjust that a little bit. Now I'm gonna push the press switch and the yellow LED comes on because it is now a complete circuit. There is enough energy to power it. Solar power is a very interesting source of energy because it is clean, it is renewable, and also it is like a silent method of producing energy. There's no noise that is made when light hits the solar cell. When light reaches a solar panel or cell, 
the photons from light are converted into electricity by the cell and therefore it can be used. Now this particular solar cell makes only a very small amount of energy but there are other much larger solar panels that can produce considerably more power from sunlight. Here it produces a voltage of about 7 volts but because the current it comes in a very large amount it is reduced and the voltage will drop when the LED comes on. Project 5 Solar Motor. Using the preceding circuit we replace the yellow LED with the motor and it doesn't matter which direction you put it in. Carefully insert the wind fan on the motor and make sure it's firmly secure before using the circuit. We will now hold the circuit up to the desk lamp and push the press switch. Now be careful not to let your fingers contact the blade and now some there may not be enough energy to start it because it uses a lot more. You may need to give the fan a spin and while holding down the press switch this can be tricky. So you can see that the voltage meter is past four but when you hold down the press switch it drops to zero so this is not a very efficient circuit. 